Hey guys, it be the Riku. And today, um, I think I've, I've officially, technically, like, obtained all the five stars in All Star Tower Defense, or at least, like, I've at least had each one one time. Um, well, technically, I have all of them, but I evolved some into six stars. So those are pretty much the only two that I'm five stars that I'm missing, even though I technically, it, it doesn't matter. But basically, I got Falcon. I was only missing Falcon and. The last one I'm missing is uh, Vegeta, which I can easily obtain from just doing a couple maps. See, I have four, uh, four star Vegetas if I just stop glitching out here. Um, yeah, you can see I just evolve, evolve for him, and I, I, do, I, I honestly don't feel like doing that right now, but um, I'm going to give you guys a couple tips on how to get your five stars because I, I cause, um, <laughs> like. I'm 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 obviously pretty good pretty good at getting them seeing as I I have all of them and I'm like level fifty one right and I I basically had all like pretty much all of them at level like four around level like forty I just recently did a stream and got to level fifty so I I I'm pretty good at getting five stars and doing summons so there's there's a there's a couple tips that I have for you guys um that you should follow when you're trying to get collect all the five stars or at least go for specific five stars and that's to always have 2700 gems i had 3100 or 3200 gems just a second ago i did two ten pulls i don't know do the math yourself uh i think that's 450 450 900 900 so i just spent 900 gems and um i got the Fal falcon or whatever it's called and i i got lucky Right, it's it, it. You don't usually, and and that's the thing about pulls. You're not supposed to like, you know, don't freaking go for something unless you have 2,700 so you can get that guarantee pity. I see lots of people that are like, oh, I wasted like 2,500 gems. Oh, I wasted 1,700 gems, dude. Why this game's a skit? This game's a scan. The pity system's bad. Um, no, you just stop freaking making excuses and get the pity. All right, don't make the mistake and and freaking go for spins if you don't have enough for a pity i don't care if mihawk is in the shop finally and it hasn't popped in shop for like three weeks i don't care you don't freaking waste your gems unless you have enough for pity unless you're really that ballsy and you want to go for it that bad but don't get mad at me if freaking three hours later you see in the freaking banner again and all you had to do was freaking get like 200 gems and you would have had pity all right don't get mad at me when that happens because that's literally that literally happens so many people I was, it's happened to me once with, um, Zenitsu, and, um, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a, when I finally decided to stop, uh, doing that and gun, and just, like, s settling for pity. Um, another tip I have for you guys is, at least by Builder Club, if you don't have Builder Club, uh, get VIP. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it's $5, dude, for Builder Club, and then you can, you can have it for a month. You don't even have to use the Robux. You can use the Robux that you get from Builder's Club to get VIP permanently, um, I re really do recommend VIP. It's the best way to get um g to get gems because you just AFK in the chamber. You get ten gems. That's literally double the amount you get from being free to play. Or you could just leave your character your freaking account on your phone or on your um or on your computer uh overnight. You can there's like on Android there's like auto clicker apps that you can use um. At least I have one that I can use on my Android specifically. Um, I don't know about Apple. Apple doesn't like freaking the apps can take control of stuff like that sometimes. So um, I also have auto clicker on my computer as well that I leave on overnight sometimes as well. I get like 600 gems every night when I decide to go AFK. But yeah, if you can try to get as much chips as you can from from the benefits of having VIP or Goodies Club or whatever the heck it's called now. I think it's called premium now. I don't know. Another tip that I have or and this is probably like the last tip is uh, do infinite mode, get as much damage as you can. Um, have 40, 482 uh, million damage, um, and that's mainly because of Kira, uh, which is, uh, or you guys call it, you got a Light Yagami as well. Light Yagami is his name. Um, but I think in the game it's called Kira or something. Kira, Kira. Um, make sure you you get Kira as soon as possible. Um, I prioritize him him and boma over anything else in the game if you're trying to get gems from infinite from doing a lot of damage um he's really good and that brings me back to a point again where you where when you're going for pity summons go for a specific 
troops or, or not troops units go for specific units that you want you want to obtain because if you're wasting your your pity summons on units that aren't like you know what i mean that you don't need that's i don't i i did that personally but like some people are, aren't like me some people don't want to collect all the units some people just want you know to have the best units in the game and that's totally understandable so if you want to go for specific units make sure you have those specific units in mind and only spin for those units uh, another thing is don't spin for five star units that can be evolved just go for their four stars it's not worth it um sasuke specifically freaking i i had a bunch of him lying around uh evolved for him freaking natsu i could evolve for another five star natsu right now if i wanted to vegeta there's a but the dragon ball characters deku as well there's a bunch of five stars luffy dude just evolve his three star variant go up to four star and then go from there it's not that hard it takes a little bit of grinding but you'll be all right dude it's you just freaking grind with a bunch of people you know you can go do it solo i did i personally like doing playing solo because it's a lot faster it's a lot easier than with people uh because of scaling and sometimes people you know what i'm saying some people don't pay attention and they kind of make everything harder on you um but other than that go for specific units that you cannot obtain by evolving so yeah go for go for thing go for people like uh you know jotaro go for people like erwin people like uh minato well done me to unless you like really are trying to get the six star one which you need double pity for which i recommend double, getting double pity for um but um also like the best th the best tip i can give though is to just you know what i'm saying just get lucky <laughs> I, I don't know what to say dude because i'm gonna be honest with you guys i got freaking hella lucky with pretty much all my spins if i'm being honest i only had two summons that were pity and that was all Might and um falcon no no i don't even think i i pitied falcon i just got falcon with two spins um but i did have 2500 gems which i was talking about early that i tried for falcon so i guess i kind of got pity fans on falcon i don't know i didn't get pity on him but i was ready to get pity on him and i spent more gems than i would have usually spent trying to get him so yeah I, I i spent a bunch of gems on falcon and i've spent a bunch of gems on um on uh, all might trying to get the, the pity on them everything else i pretty much just got lucky somehow i don't know i don't know dude freaking luck was on my side in this game stuff happens you know what i'm saying and we take those all right so other than that I, um the final tip that i have for you is don't freaking sell your four stars all right don't freaking just feed your not self feed don't just feed your four stars man i see a lot of people just like feeding their four stars because because they don't use them i mean like you never know when an update comes out and they're going to be evolvable you never know if you can evolve for them or not you know what i'm saying just don't just don't get rid of your four stars dude at least have if you're going to get rid of them at least have two of them and the same thing goes for three stars as well at least have uh like three in stock that you know that you, that they can evolve like if you, if you know they they can evolve then keep them dude don't freaking waste your time and you know what i mean don't 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 do that all right keep your four stars you you might be able to evolve for for them in the future unless they already have evolutions and you've got those evolution you can sell them i reckon well me personally i like to keep one of each unit so regardless if it's evolvable or not i just uh, my collector um that's just this is how I played played this game. I, I like to collect the units and I like to collect everything. So I don't really, if I always keep one of everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it for how to, you know, get all the stuff in the game. That's how the, that's how you go for pity summons. That's how you get your five stars. And that's how you freaking stop being trash at the game. And just go for pities, dude. Just, just moral of, of, of the video. Just go for pities. Um, I finally got all the five stars, so that's pretty sick. Technically speaking, uh, I'll get the Vegeta later uh, when I feel like it. To be honest, I don't, I don't really feel like getting it. But I appreciate you guys watching, and um, hope you guys enjoy the video. And please, just please, dude, freaking please go for pity and stop wasting your time. Don't try to get lucky. Don't go gambling, dude wait until it comes back wait until it comes back in the summons it's not the end of the freaking world if you don't get it the first time just wait try again next week when it comes in the banner and go for it when you have enough for pity and maybe just maybe 
you'll get lucky, like me, and you won't even have to go for beating. That's all, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.